Okay, okay. This is your new art lesson. And this, which you can't see because I look through the camera, and I can't see it through the camera, but what it is, is a copy of your drawing of the circle that makes a square. And I wanted to tell you how excellent this drawing is, even though you can't see it. What I noticed about it is, one, that your circle did not slip and you didn't have to start over again. You did a perfect circle in one gesture. And that means that you've been drawing a lot of circles because it's impossible to do it unless you practice a lot. The second thing is that the big circles that show where the points are both went past where they have to meet. And usually when people do this, they don't realize that the arc has to go beyond where they imagine the point would be. But your arcs are perfect. The whole thing is uh, really quite beautiful, although you can't see it. And also, I'm running out of ink. Now, this art lesson is going to be called Drawing Thickness. And we're going to start with a, a Cheerios box. Now, do you remember the Cheerios lesson? I gave you a long time ago, in which we did the, um, the heart, and I made you draw it half size by measuring it with a piece of paper that we folded in half to make half size measurements. This lesson is going to be about the thickness of the box. Now, this is the front of the box, and this is the thickness of it. And the interesting thing about thickness is that you can only see on a rectangle, two of the thicknesses. By that I mean you can see the front, the left, and the top. Front, left, and top. Or the front, the bottom, and the left. Or you can see the front, the top, and the right. Or the front, and the right, and the bottom. You can only see three surfaces at a time. You cannot see all all of them, which are one, two, three, four, five. So, how do we do that? With diagonals. So first, the Cheerios box. And we're going to draw it as seen from the upper left, which means we're going to show the front of the box the top of the box, and the left of the box. And we use diagonals like this. And they have to be the same length, in this case about an inch. Once we draw our diagonals, we connect them. Now, it's possible to do it wrong. You do it wrong like this. Now, do you see that this does not look right. It has the mistake that the diagonals are not parallel. For example, if I put a ruler on my diagonals, they cross. They hit each other. And they're not parallel. Parallel means that they go on a long way or as far as you want and never touch. So let's look at the correct, the correct drawing and see how it is. Here, my diagonals really be like that. 
Now, my diagonals are parallel like train tracks. Now, next, now we're going to draw a pasta box, a ZD pasta box. It has a different proportions. What are proportions? The height to the width is different than the height to the width. So the part, I'm going to draw the pasta box from the bottom right. In other words, seen from below and to the right. So it's going to be like this. Now I've drawn the front, the bottom, and the right. It's seen from underneath and to the right. It's also possible to do it wrong in a different way. I'll show you. It's possible to do it wrong like this. Now it's wrong for two reasons. For one reason, these can be parallel, which they are. They are parallel, but they are not the same length. And if A, if A to B, and C to D, and E to F are not equal, then you get a box that has been smushed, a smushed box. Now, your assignment is to draw this band-aid box from the front upper left hand side and send me a picture of it. And that's your art lesson for today. See you later.